This is the Shendron stick. It's designed to carry a cinema camera. I just built one. And today, you are going to learn how to build one yourself. Okay, let's talk about all the components we need. So, this is the Shendron stick DJI kit itself. We got the flight controller, this is a Radix 2, brand new. DJI air unit, Cod King for conformal coating. This is the Rush FPV, PFB, power filter board. This is similar to the FedTech spike absorber. We got a Crossfire Diversity Nano RX. And at the heart of it all is the Brother Hobby Avenger 28121115KV. So we have 8 of this. As I said, this is an X8 configuration. And the propellers I'll be using is this HQ prop 8x4x3. So it's an 8 inch prop, 4 inch pitch, and a 3 blade. And in comparison to a standard 5 inch propeller, this is how a 5 inch propeller looks like next to it. Gonna be a big one. Okay, my ESCs have not arrived yet, that's why it's not here, but I'll start by building the frame first. So let's continue. So let's look at what is included in the Shendron stick build kit. This is the arms, these are four arms. These are 8mm stick, if I'm not mistaken. And this is where the bottom motors attach, and this will be attached to the arm. So this is the landing gear. These are the antennas for the DJI Air unit stock antennas, so I don't need to change the antennas. This is the mount for the camera, the camera plate. Uh, two different type of mounts are included. This is the holder for the DJI Air unit. This should be the bottom plate where the straps are holding the batteries. This would be the camera plate. This would be the main frame. These two pieces here. And these are all the screws and standoffs and nuts that's included. Hopefully it won't take me too long to finish this up. Let's continue with the build. Okay, so I'm halfway through my build. Assemble the frame, put the motors on. ESC is just arrived. This is the Hobbywing 60M ESC, 4-in-1. To see how to arrange it. Okay, as you can see, the frame is built. It's actually not that hard, just that there's a lot of uh, these lock nuts. Okay, the drone with the motors itself is quite heavy. Also, I want to show you guys this landing gear is quite smart to design. So you can see, you lock the arms in using a lock nut. And then you slide this over, see there are indentations here, you slide it over and then you screw another lock nut. So you are able to tighten the arms very tight without uh, the mushiness of the TPU. Let's continue the build. Okay, progress so far. I just applied Cod King. It's a conformal coating on the ESC. A thick layer of conformal coating there. So remove the power leads and the capacitor that's included with the Hobby Wing ESC. Because I'm going to custom my own parallel cables later. some progress. I wanted to connect these two ESCs in parallel together and also output to two separate XT60 leads. So the easiest way to parallel them is to do this. So you just cut the insulation at the middle, join it and solder it from there. So now two XT60 leads parallel to two ESC boards. Looks good. Okay, end of day one, 
Think I'm about 70% complete. I'm call it a day. It's already almost 1.30. So far, I got all the motors installed. The frame is built. The wires for the motors are all done. Check out that workmanship. This took me very long. Wrapped up all the wires in this wire sleeve. Uh, all that's left is the receiver wiring and um, GPS, and then they'll be done. Oh, yeah, and also the XT60 harness. XT60 connector haven't connected yet. It is parallel. This part here is soldered. You can see my conformal coating. So it's a new day, time to continue work. Okay, explain a bit of what I have done so far. Okay, this is the front ESC, this is the back ESC. The back ESC controls all the motors on the top. As you can see, the front ESC controls all the motors on the bottom. You can see it goes all to the motors on the bottom. Okay, why I've done it this way is because, first of all, why one ESC is in front, one ESC is behind, instead of stacking the two together like this, is so that in this configuration, it gets more airflow. So the cooling is better for the ESCs and also one ESC handles one set of motors so in case a complete failure of one ESC or maybe let's say a connector comes loose the drone still can fly because there is still one set of four motors still spinning at least that's the idea okay continue on with the build After many many hours of building this drone, finally it's done. Look at that. That's the ESC, that's the flight controller, that's the air unit, the antennas for the DJI air unit, my crossfire nano diversity, I had put it there. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. XT60 leads up installed. Here's the capacitor for the ESC. Okay, going to power it on for the first time. Hopefully nothing happens. Okay, so this will be the first plug-in of the Shendrone stick. The one and a half days of building for my smoke stopper. Okay, moment of truth. Yeah, I haven't set up the flight controller yet. Okay, looks like no smoke. And there is power from the flight controller. There is power from the air unit. Yeah, everything looks powered up. Okay, we need to adjust the things in the flight controller, then we'll try again. Okay, I'm trying going to try to plug in again. Yes, we hear the double beep. The ESCs detects the flight controller. Okay, let's test and see if the motor connections are correct. Cool, right? Okay, motor number one would be this top one. Yes, and I have image. Yeah, the OSD is all over the place. Looks like this build is a success. Okay, so today I'll be doing the maiden for this Chandron stick. You can see for now I put a dummy weight. This is a power supply unit, 40 power supply unit. I put a GoPro session there in front. And also a GoPro Hero 9 here at the back for some uh, third person view. Okay, the weather is not exactly the best, but uh, this thing is quite heavy. This thing all up weight is about 3.4 kilograms. Let's go. Okay, camera's rolling, battery loaded. Try Maiden, line of sight. Okay, looks like I need to adjust the tune a bit. The motors are a bit warm. I need to reduce the tune. See what happens. After reducing the PIDs,
Okay, the motor temperatures improved a bit. Uh, I think the center of gravity is a bit out. I just adjusted a bit. Now time for a real flight. Okay, so far it's feeling quite good. The throttle hover point is around 30 to 40 percent, I guess. Feels better than my Cine Whoop, so I think the motor power is quite good. Okay, I'm going to test out the level mode first. See if it works. Yep, angle mode works. We'll probably I'll land in angle mode later. So with this drone, I need to land properly. Unlike what I usually do with my 5 inch. Battery is at 21.9 volts. Yeah. I think this battery condition not that good already. Okay, we're down to 21 volts, going to land. Okay, landed. First flight successful. Okay, change battery, round two. Okay, let's try flying for real. Oh, camera's rolling. Let's try to do some flips. So this part here, I was doing a quick, sharp move to test for oscillations and a bounce back. So I'm smooth, flying, low to the ground, just in case anything happens. Some throttle punches. Getting more and more confident already in the view of the, of the drone. Doing some nice smooth turns and some flips. So for tuning, you need to do flips and rolls in order to look for oscillation and bounce back. So that's a flip. That flip looks a bit weird because my dummy weight, the power supply unit, is placed in the suboptimal position. So the moment of inertia is very high. The moment arm is very far away from the center of gravity. This will be fixed in the my next flight, which will be in the next video. Quick flip, slow exit, and I think this one I'm doing some juicy flicks, but quite failed. Another juicy flick. So that was a bit better, but I think I went on quite close to the ground on that one. No 
flying above the trees. There's some wind over there. You can see the wind blowing the drone. And incident free. Okay, successfully made in this thing. Let's have a look. Motor temperatures a bit warm. Mm, I was thinking of pushing the tune more. I need to think how to push the tune more. Top and bottom motors both also similar temperatures. Front and back also similar temperatures. Yeah, this is definitely hotter than my 5 inch. Oh, 3.4 kilograms. Turn this off. <laughs> 